Now, Colin Quinn. Exceptionally happy to have Colin Quinn live in the studio right now here in Salt Lake. After our big phone call. Yeah, we, uh, which I'm sure you don't remember. You, when you're doing stuff like that, like we talked about, it was about two years ago you were doing the It was the, the Netflix Broadway. special, wasn't it? Yeah. And, uh, oh, was, the, was it for the Netflix? I think thing? it was, yeah. And, uh, or unconstitutional, right? Maybe it was unconstitutional. And, we, and you must talk to like 100 radio stations a morning or something, right? Yeah. But you remember But there's us. bad ones and good ones, you know. Yeah. You, so you remember us as being one of the great ones. <laughs> well, sure. no. No, not, not really. So, <laughs> I guess we'll find out now yeah. if we can recreate the magic. Yeah. Uh, wiseguyscomedy.com is where you'll go to get tickets to Colin Quinn's shows. He's performing at Wise Guys tonight and, and tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Friday, tonight, I'll be there. <laughs> and Saturday, he'll be there as well. Uh, and uh, so I just, I'm just interested to hear you uh, talk a little bit about, you know, the zeitgeist. The zeitgeist? About, about what's going on. Well, right now. I feel like there'll be a, uh, there'll be a, uh, this is finally it. The country's finally you think? Had it. Yeah. We've had it. I feel like we've, 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 it's been happening for 50 years, really. Maybe 40 years, but I mean, I feel like it's finally going to happen where people are going to have to figure out a way to live peaceably separately, you know? So, oh, separately? Yeah, I feel like the oh. country's going to break up. Re- really you, re- you really do? I really do. I mean, he's the look on his face is the, there's no There's no BS. joke there. You know, break last up. time I was on the phone, this time you guys get to see the serious look on my face. <laughs> yeah. Break up like certain people live over here and we live over here because we all I, agree? I don't or? know how it would work, but like, let's face it, Texas and California have one foot out the door. And, uh... <laughs> You know, yeah, you guys California kind of wants always, to split. Yeah, California wants to split. Texas mm-hmm. wants to split. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like people, people have different fe- people have different cultures. The country's too big. It was a mistake from the beginning. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, they just divided so up we- into regions. Western United States is its own country. SEC, <laughs> ACC. Yeah. Does, that mean, does that mean I have to move? The Big West. I always thought. That, see, I thought, uh, and maybe this is the division you're thinking about too. Is that there will be gated communities and then everybody else. I've seen that movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it's true. But there already are big gated communities and everybody. Yeah, else. but I think it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and then and then there'll be all of there'll be all of us and then the people who live up on the hill. Well, I mean there's a lot of places that it's kind of like that. But um I mean there's a lot of countries that are like that too. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. I just I I just can't imagine people just you know I always say, like, we were democracy wasn't meant to go electric. You know, it's like it's like Newport Jazz Festival in 1965. <laughs> oh, Acoustically. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> a great Thank reference. You. I like that. Pop. Kids, Google. Yeah. Kids. <laughs> kids, let me. Footnotes to the radio from Listen the show are available. I mean, are you kidding? All these kids now know, but they know more than we do about all this stuff. They know everything about everything. Yeah. They know the history of comedy, history mm. of music. And um, but yeah, I just feel like that's taken it to a new level where people are just like, okay, I don't like you, I don't want to be around people like you, and it's going to happen. Well, and so, nobody's changing each other's minds. Either. Nobody's changing each other's minds. Mm-hmm. You know? So you you grew you grew up in uh, in New York in New York, and yeah. uh, and I, I know you've lived there for a long time. Sure, not L A. <laughs> Richie, <laughs> Richie, uh, and, Richie Caps, they call him. So, so you must know Donald Trump. Oh yeah, I, I mean I was spent a lot of. Sleepovers at the house. Actually, <laughs> I mean, you do. I, I mean, you must know. You I've know met him twice. You have you? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At two roasts, and this is like years ago. Mm-hmm. And at both roasts, it was the same thing. Like just the same thing. The way he ran his campaign. Like at the beginning, you're like, this guy's. Yeah, he's got a little humor to him. He's got a little, you know, like uh, he's kind of funny. Like he'd be up there going, "This guy's a loser," and everyone's kind of laughing. Like, hey, for a mm-hmm. business guy, he's kind of funny. But you're like, yeah, you know. Kind of a douche, you know. He's a, he's a douche. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know you're allowed to say douche. On him. Yeah, you can say douche. Okay, you yeah. Douche. I mean, he's obviously a douche, but um, but like I said, he got elected. Everybody's talking about him and what he is. He got elected because too many people uh, don't want to be scolded by like uh, people in comedy and they half the country can't tell sheet metal workers in Missouri. That they should acknowledge their privilege when they get up at five thirty in the morning mm-hmm. and expect them to go. You're right, Mister uh, Director of Movie. You know what I mean? So yeah. <laughs> it's like a two sided thing. Yeah, he got elected because he was the manifestation of all the ugliness of two sides. Yeah, 
in my opinion. So this is a comedy show <laughs> you're doing tonight? You're, I'm just... I'm just... This, I Gina, think this is hilarious. Just Gina, checking. you're allowed to say manifestation in a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, actually. If there's one rule of comedy, once you say manifestation, people are like, okay, yeah. I want my money back. <laughs> he said, man, what? Now he's starting to... <laughs> yeah. I think hilarious. this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that's the sort of the, you know, the entryway yeah. into the comedy. Yeah. That's, uh, it's, uh, and I was like, <laughs> see, I don't. What I, else are we gonna say? I mean, I like it when we, because we we've had have comedians well, yeah, on, and, and they don't. You don't come in and do your routine. Well, and they go no. to the show to and see. And a lot that. of morning exactly. shows expect them to come in and do their routine. Exactly. You know, and, you, and we, I mean, I was never really wacky that. anyway. You know, yeah, exactly. I don't know what Gina expected. <laughs> <laughs> it was she expected you to be like when Emo Phillips was in our studio one time, <laughs> and we kept oh. trying to have. Just a, a conversation. conversation. A conversation with him, like about where you're from, yeah. and how you, and he could, all, nope. he couldn't figure it out. All he wanted, could do was he wanted to do these lines. You know? Nope. Had you'd, you'd, ask, him, could, you'd right? ask him a question, and he'd, do, he'd and then he'd pause, and then it would be. Then there was the time, <laughs> and he'd start a routine. But that's also because in the in the eighties, because yeah. I worked in the eighties too. But he yeah. started in the. You had to go on radio. You better have all your jokes. <laughs> yeah. Or if you try to say anything, they're like, what are you doing? Yeah. Trying to sell tickets to the yeah. show, you know? Yeah. We like to talk to you like your people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, that's why Gina felt she could uh, comfortably and safely insult you. Gina wants me to be like, hey. No. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. He's pouring water on himself. No, it's just because we get accused of being heavy politics all the time. And mm. then, oh, well, this yeah. nice break with Colin Quinn here. Everybody but that's... Really can't help but... I know, but I'm telling you, it was only the word manifestation. It really, I, I should have. I, I would like to think of another word for it, but I. No, it was perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> Colin Quinn, yeah. Friday night. I and said Saturday Zeitgeist night. earlier, too. Yeah, so Zeitgeist. That's a, that's he a, started that's it. That's a comedy word he for you. He started it. <laughs> it's my fault. The first question what do you think of the Zeitgeist? First of all, it's the most sweeping question in the world. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, he found the one guy who actually thinks, hey, I'm glad he is. I don't know. I knew Colin. Col- maybe, maybe the focus groups are right. We're too highfalutin. Yeah. I, dare, yeah. I dare you guys to ask the next 10 comedians. What do they think of the zeitgeist? And I guarantee you, <laughs> nine of them won't know what you mean by the zeitgeist. Richie, write they're, that down. We'll do that. We will, they're going to think will. it's like, the, the, was that like a German bakery in Salt Lake? <laughs> 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 Where the, do they have buns there? <laughs> <laughs> have you tried the Zeitgeist in Salt Lake? Oh, it's like, delicious. No, we'll go there after the radio and yeah. breakfast. Uh, Colin Quinn will be at Wise Guys. Uh, he'll be there tonight for sure. Yes. And tomorrow for sure. Go to yes. wiseguyscomedy.com. You can buy tickets right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got any plans to do uh, another New York another uh, one like man a live show, show one man show? Yeah, well, this is sort of the beginnings of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This is basically it. It's, a, it's called One in Every Crowd. So it's kind of like. It's about the national, you know, thing, but it's also about the fact that there's one person in every, like in your, in this office, there's one person that's a toxic, like in every yes. situation mm-hmm. over the course of my whole life. Like, how can that be? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and if that person leaves, somebody else replaces them. So yeah. that's really my fascinating thing for what that what that means in the great in the grand scheme of things. Uh, will Will Jerry? Now that's funny. Will, <laughs> will Jerry Seinfeld? Because uh, uh, he directed you. Jerry's before. that person. He directed you. <laughs> no, He's the uh, yeah, he directed me, but uh, no, he won't be direct, probably won't direct this one. Who knows? Yeah, it certainly helps when he directs. Suddenly, oh, see, doors open. Yeah. See, now I'm thinking of who that person is. Well, in, in my life right now, it's Richie. Talks but, Richie yeah. Caps, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Richie Caps, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know who that is in my oh, life. I'm okay, sure. so I'm I'll have to, to think about it. Come to the show and think about. The thing it. I like about Richie is if most people greet you to do a hi. Come on in. He literally walked across the street in the cold in his jorts. Yep. Hey, you know who used to own that place? Yelling to me like I feel like I was back in Brooklyn. <laughs> I want you to feel at home. He's got yes. like a real New York energy to yeah. him. He's walking yeah. through the streets yelling. Yeah. Hey, you know who owned that place? Yeah, the guy's here. He walked across. <laughs> Uh, it's wiseguyscomedy.com to get tickets to see Colin Quinn.